this is the Taiwanese local whiskey brand that I was hoping to try. And luckily, this dude is like, you want some? I'm like, yeah. Put some, put some tikka. Mmm, that smells good. Mm -hmm. Do you the, 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 the whiskey from the teacups. Yeah. This is great. I love this is actually how I drink whiskey at home, oh, yeah. as I have tons of teacups. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, huh. mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. This is like a local candy company in the tea area. And we tried one of their candies at Tyloch's place and it was really good. So I'm trying to see if I can get like a, a big amount of it for you guys. So when we have the Taiwan box, we can put it in there. I've kind of learned through doing this over the years. It's like, on one hand, it's really complicated and difficult to find the right place, <clears throat> get to the right place. But when you find the right place, everybody here just all does tea, tea stuff, all that sort of stuff. You get the contact info and then you know, the whole trip might be worth it just because you meet one candy guy, you know. We should have a whole section of tea candy. Why are we just doing one? I'm, I'm thinking now, I'm thinking. We're gonna have lunch, and um, I'm gonna be honest, part of the fun of doing all these tea trips to Asia is uh, just eating all the food. So we're gonna see what we got for lunch. I love these little restaurants. They just have these like little menus of everything on it and you just like one, 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 one. But this is where it's really useful to be able to read and write because otherwise you'd be asking people over and they'd say, this is what it is. And then you'd still have no idea what it is. To these tea areas, everywhere has tea. So it's, it's kind of wacko, but this stuff is just about as good as any tea you can find outside of, outside of the area. It's like, yeah, this tea is just about as good as you can find in the United States and it's just sitting there in a restaurant no one's looking at it. <laughs> I'm going to get one bite of this on video and then let's just assume we ate it all because we're going to be eating. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers, guys. Yeah. What are we doing? This is for the chicken. Oh, that's for chicken. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, probably like some sponge. Yeah. This would be the best. Oh, God, it's good. at the Ping Lin Tea Museum. And uh, this was recommended to me by Jeff, and you've been here before, right? Yes, I have. So to be able to have the tea museum in the tea place where the tea is made, I'm very excited. Let's go inside. Wah! There we go. We'll see if this is worth three bucks. Part of the reason people ask, like, oh, could you grow tea in America? It's like, you could, but the, this specialized machinery is hard to get. I mean, this is a museum. This is the old stuff and new stuff all together. But the same idea is that, uh, you know, it's not just about the leaf. It's about the machinery that you use to process it and also the expertise of the people using the machinery. So, um, you know, this stuff is really important. Charge it to Okay. Okay. Our job was to guess whether the, sha the shapes that are passing you by are tea things or not. Okay. Tea things. That looks like a tea thing. Yay, there we go. I think we just got the cha hai left. We're going to wait for the... Nope, 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 nope. No. Missed me with that. Where's the last one? Here, oh, here we go. There we go, cha hai. There we go. Oh! This is all the different types of containers people have used to hold tea over the years. Quick uh, market survey question. If we just started using animal skulls on the website to sell our tea in, yes, no, let us know. Yeah, so this is a Tian John. This is a Jianware, um, and we have Jianware on the site actually. We have two different Jianjian two different Jianjian cups. 
Um, obviously, maybe not up to the museum quality, but um, this beautiful teamwork. Ours looks as the ours is the old uh, this version right here. So this is an even more beautiful version, but the ones we have are actually quite good and pretty affordable too. Uh, and then in the back here, they have this little tea garden. I just, look how beautiful this place is. I live in LA and it's a big city and it's loud. And so I think one of the reasons I really like my tea time is because it's, it's kind of the antidote to being in that big city. You can kind of have a little bit of the nature in your head when you drink the tea, it kind of comes back. Very cool. This was a fantastic afternoon. I mean, honestly, it was worth the price of admission just to see that garden. But it was great to see all the different tea. And I think this is the big thing I keep trying to get people to understand is like, it's so much more than a drink that you throw in a mug and then it's you down it for caffeine. And so being able to see all of this culture here in Taiwan has been great. So thank you again so much to the uh, Pinglin Chaiye Bo the Pinglin Tea Museum. Uh, I had a great time here, beautiful garden, beautiful exhibits, and um, hopefully be able to show you more stuff around Taiwan in the future. Uh, thank you all so much for following the channel. Make sure you subscribe. And also remember that all of the, we have amazing tea stuff up on the website. Uh, so if you want to try some of the teas that I've been drinking here in Taiwan, I have a Taiwan box that will be up by the time that this is uh, on the internet. And uh, you can definitely, you can support the channel and support more videos like this by getting tea, which hopefully is a win-win. So thank you all so much for your support and um, it's been great to spend a day in Pingling.